Criteria 1.1 is looking at the functions of an IQA. Essentially, an IQA is there to make informed decisions about the assessment process. An IQA is there to promote standardisation between a team of assessors, trainers, uh, colleagues who are involved within the assessment process are involved within providing feedback to learners. A key element of being an IQA is to promote standardisation. This is to ensure that assessors, trainers are interpreting your qualifications, grading criteria and assessment processes consistently in order to provide the same feedback and support to your learners. There are five key functions of an IQA. The first is to monitor assessors, to promote reliability and consistency, to identify improvements and to be a supportive role. If you have two assessors within the same room or same environment, they're going to have different opinions. Yourself as an IQA is to promote standardisation materials, um, meetings, agendas, to ensure that a team of assessors are meeting in the middle and they're interpreting the criteria consistently. Another key function of an IQA is to promote reliability and consistency. This is very important within the IQA process, especially when reputations of schools, colleges, your workforce rely on reputation. If there are inconsistencies uh, within uh, the IQA process, if learners are experiencing different feedback, it could be confusing and there could be a right to an appeal. So ensuring that consistency and reliability within the assessment process is upheld is going to hold you in very good stead as a training provider. Some of the other key elements within an IQA role is to identify improvements. You as an IQA could come up with um, ideas, um, technologies, which is going to help the IQA process and help the day-to-day -day running of your organisation within assessment for your trainers, your tutors and your general workforce. So think of the IQA role as being a bit of an innovator as well. And lastly, to be a supportive role. As an IQA, you need to be approachable for your tutors, your trainers, your assessors, and you are going to be providing your team with the latest updates as well. Make sure that you're approachable uh, in your day-to-day -day role, but also approachable on emails as well. Make sure that you hold standardization meetings and make sure that there is an agenda provided uh, to ensure understanding for your team. In regards to this first assignment uh, criteria, I would like for you to include a paragraph on the introduction of the role of an IQA. Furthermore, I'd like for you to expand and to say what the five functions are of an IQA are and how do they apply to your current or your future IQA role.